Hello crew, we're at the angle seat and look who we found. Our favorite Dakar rider, that's controversial, Ben Young and his beautiful bike. Ben, what do we got here? We've got a KDM 450 Rally Replica um, 2020 model. It's, so it's quite new, it's only about three months old. I was one of the lucky ones to get one of the eight that came into the country recently and they gave us full ADR compliance. So I could actually get proper registration on it. Absolutely. Because nice, the old model, we had to just get rec reg. Um, so you will talk a little bit about some of the trick, trick kit on it. Absolutely. What are we looking at? Because, I mean, what's, what makes this different from just a regular 450? Well, the, the, they're completely different frame. They're a, they're, they're a trellis frame. So the old KDM steel tr um, full trellis frame. Um, and if you have a look in the, up in here with the... Uh, the way the the air filter sitting right on top of the motor rather than the air the box at the back like a typical exc would be right um and then fuel wise we've got 16 liters on the front 16 liters on the rear giving us obviously 32 liters all up but you're saying the front and rear tanks are joined they are joined so there's, a, there's a little switch up switch up here where you can fl flick it from uh front to rear mate that's awesome and it's, it's got dual fuel pumps so if you're front fuel pumps shut themselves and you had to switch to rear but then you're in the middle of a stage and your rear runs out where you can I've, I've got a little setup where I can drain the front tanks into a bottle and then put them into the rears to get me out of trouble so it doesn't ruin my race my that's, that's and ingenious the, and, and the same with the back you can drain the drain the fuel out of the back and then just manually put it back into the front if you get a fuel pump failure which is obviously quite rare but it does happen i mean there was so much carbon fiber on the bike too like the carbon. carbon fiber bash plate carbon bash fiber plate. tower well the bash plate is, and then underneath you got your you got your three liter water container because that's an fim regulation you must carry three liters of drinking water just in case you get stuck in the middle of nowhere and get lost at least you're not going to die because you've got water uh, some water that you'd really want to drink first right oh, it's a bit plasticky <laughs> a bit, yeah, it's, bit hot it's, it's, not, it's, it's not really nice yeah um, and then going into some more of the mechanical sort of upgrades they do on the mods, you can see the massive radiators it's here. Huge radiator. First thing you notice is that and radiator. The, the all top the way bit along. is you see. There's a little separate topic. That's the oil cooler. So right. they so they run about 1.9 liters of oil in them, whereas a standard you know EXC motor would be running about 1.2 liters of oil. It's such a big radiator. Yeah. It's so and so huge. The, the motors are based on a, they're, they're an SX derived motor, so they're a bit punchier and a bit stronger than an EXC motor. And you're saying about 70 horsepower? They're running about, yeah, the, the stock one like this is about 70 and then something like Toby's is probably getting about 74, 75. They just tweak them up a little bit more. Yeah, okay. Yep. And uh, and fuel economy wise? Fuel economy wise, in heavy sand, I'm getting about 10 kilometers per litre. Um, normal sort of terrain, we're sort of getting around about... 15 kilometers a litre then if it's really open and, and gravelly we can get up to maybe 18 kilometers a litre that's bloody good for a big bike yeah. do you know how much your weight uh dry they're about 138 wow so no. time you put to, if you fully fuel them with oil you're, you're getting up to about over 170 kilograms yeah. easily so it's about about graham's weight so okay <laughs> that's uh, fair enough they give you the cone valve suspension as standard so which it's just dynamite it's, yeah and then uh it's not a tracks in the rear but it's a very it's some i don't know what they call it but it's some fancy up spec shock in the rear full titanium exhaust pipe yeah it uh, sounds absolutely amazing nav towers full carbon fiber so if we break one of them retail price is about seven thousand dollars <laughs> which you don't want to break one of them no absolutely no no not at all but i mean one of these bikes retails for about the same price as a, as a ford ranger probably the, probably the top spec ford ranger yeah, yeah. absolutely this bike is is yeah. tricked up and there's only eight in the country of the yeah that's correct yes yeah 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 yep, yep. so right. she's absolutely beautiful and and, you, and from a mechanics perspective to work on them you pull those tanks off which take and the bash plate off which takes you two seconds and everything's there yeah. so they were designed in the rally department with the mechanics in mind to be able to strip them and get to them all nice and quickly and easily so so this bike you've got another one over over in poland at the moment right yeah, so i've got the same model as this that lives in poland that lives with my team they they, they just store it for me um that's about 18 months old but it's exactly the same bike 
exact same setup, suspension wise, so, everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, even when I um, I got this bike in Australia, I got my suspension guy from um, the Netherlands gave all the settings, and the guys at the dealership, Brian, yeah, did all the settings exactly the same. So just to follow through. Same. And so how many hours have you put on this so far? Uh, this has got maybe about what are you, about thirty hours and about a thousand, uh, fifteen hundred kilometers. And what maps that one from? That map is a Dakar map. Oh, so that awesome. was the last stage. So if someone wants a little bit of interesting so at the moment that's only saying 1.79 kilometers but once i get once that's telling me i'm at a kilometer 105.4 it's saying a single caution mvs means bad and that's sort of like a bit of a ditch across the road and when i go around there i must follow a compass heading of 297 degrees and then i'll go back to one here it gives a bit more information so you you come up to this one here that's a that's a uh a cattle yard and it's telling us to veer right and in one kilometre there's going to be a little turn off and veer right again and follow a compass heading of 305. Mate that's so awesome. But the problem is with all these road books it's all abbreviated in French. Ah right. And my French is really bad so it's hard but you learn, <laughs> you learn. Well you've done a couple of these now <laughs> so hopefully you, sh enough. you should be just fluent in uh, in French right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. well mate well uh, you've kindly let me go and have a ride so I'm gonna jump on it and have a quick little squirt and see what she's all about but as i said i'm terrified mate this uh this thing uh if i break it i might as well just give you my ute <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a swap yeah <laughs> no, yeah I, look i'd swap you now i tell you that <laughs> but uh thanks for your time ben and uh i guess we'll uh, we'll call it an episode day eh? yeah no yeah, worries awesome Perfect. thanks right. thanks jess let's take this for a for a spin it's f first off it's fucking tall ben it's yeah, tall yeah, no, um, I definitely feel like Toby Price though. And I think it's because of the air box that sitting there that just brings the whole lot up a bit. Right. Alright. Oh. Woo! Oh, absolutely terrifying. Right, so, those who know me and the podcast know that I am a very average rider. So let's give an average rider's kind of oh, an average rider's outlook on a Dakar bike. Woo! Holy shit! Right, so the first off the thing about power. This thing has power. way behind her. Oh, recluse clutch, no! Recluse clutch, right. Didn't warn me about that. Never ridden with a recluse. Right, okay. Let's see what we got. That noise, just absolutely awesome. I know, I know I'm a two-stroke guy, but you say that that noise isn't sexual, there's something wrong with you. Oh, 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 
Oh yeah, okay. Oh, the power, but the weight. You come into a corner, you can really feel the difference in the weight. Because of those tanks down low, you can feel it kind of slide into you. Now, people are going to say, yeah, try harder, Jeremy. Well, you jump on a 50, 60,000 dollar motorbike and ride faster than this. Oh, ho, ho. well, instant erection. Woo! It's definitely not like any bike I've ever been able to ride before. That braking is a lot different. You can't just for a gummy anyway. I apologise for my Gumby riding, but oh, shit. <laughs> it's so high. Oh. So thoughts? Well, you saw me ride. I'm an absolute idiot. But um, yeah, this bike is is not like at all you'd expect. Um, where to begin? It's not as top heavy as you thought, even with the tower and the weight isn't there. But because that fuel is underneath. You can feel the weight come in when you come to the corners and you carry a lot more momentum going in because of the weight. It's totally different. Size-wise, it just moves really nice, as you see. I mean, this is my first ride, so come on, give me a fucking break. But it moves really nice underneath you. It sounds next level. So, I'm not going to say go buy one because <laughs> I don't know what, or how you could, but... Definitely, if you have a chance to ride one, ride one. Toby Price, all those DACA guys, hats off to you. you to take this for 10 to 14 days, whatever the DACA is going to be, and throw it through the dunes. Oh, good on you. Or maybe you just keep riding home. Maybe I'll just ride home and then Ben won't ever have a bike back. Hmm, I don't know. I won't. Let's, uh... Oh, oh that sound is amazing. Oh, she's so angry yet so sexy. Oh, let's do this. Let's get some. Woo! Hello! My name is Jeremy, I'm on a duck and bike. I don't need to make any more episodes because I am happy. I don't need to do anything more. This is all I wanted out of a bike. Oh! Oh! oh.
no idea where I am. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where's the car? Oh no, I'm lost in the Otwoods. Well, angles here, wherever the fuck we are. Oh well, at least I'm on a good bike for it. Ben Young, you are an absolute legend. Thank you so much. And uh, oh, look, there's my tea smoke. <laughs> that was uh, that's naughty, my friend. <laughs>